Welcome to Eat Theatre, Sleep Repeat with me, Hayley Kay and Jed Mills. We are, of course, here at the theatre for Panto launch day. It is Aladdin and we are joined by <laughs> Tom Lister uh, and Steve Royal, who will be known to you this Christmas <laughs> as Avanaza and Wishy Washy. Welcome both of you. It's a Thank pleasure. You. <laughs> it's a pleasure isn't it? Oh, it's never a chore to hang out with you, Hales. Ah, thanks for no, the um, empty cup. No, you're all right, yes. Do you, uh, do you, do you two know each other? That's oh, the first man. question. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, yes. listen, I think what people will um, love about this year is you two back together um, when they've seen you before. Yeah. I remember the cap. For me, one of my favourite pantos in recent years was the Captain Hook one, when you played Captain Hook as something probably completely different to maybe a lot of others. And it just worked superbly well, which yeah. was great. Was yeah. Ten years ago. No, we've done it. We've done it twice in the last yeah. ten years. We twenty thirteen was the first time we'd ever yeah. done it. And then we did it again uh, six years later. So like twenty nineteen. Yeah. And then we were the following year. We were going to do the pantomime, um, pantomime, yeah, pantomime yeah. and the socially yeah. distanced one, which obviously then got pulled because everything got shut down. Um, so it's been a long time waiting. It has. It's <laughs> felt a lot longer. I think what's going to be interesting for the audience, though, is you've performed together twice and three times before, but both times in Peter Pan. This is mm. your first outing as Aladdin. Mm. I can't in Aladdin, rather. I'm racking my brains. How much interaction do you two have? Or has there been some swift rewriting? Because I know that you two, <laughs> if I were your class well, teacher, do I'd you you believe? Do you believe that we would rewrite the script, Hayley? Yes, the script is sacrosanct no, to I us. No, I think you would rewrite yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Would you rewrite Shakespeare? Can, <laughs> can, can we point out, right, and people won't see this on the on the podcast, even on the video, but there's a man lurking around the corner to make sure these two... Be wary of what we but, might say. <laughs> and listen, there's going to be someone after me in the wings constantly, there isn't there? There's always someone going, do you, do you know that went up for 15 minutes? That's what you're supposed to do. You only introduce yourselves, it normally takes two. <laughs> we can tell you for a fact there have been a, quite a few rewrites. We've been planning and plotting for the last couple of months and uh, we've got a few tricks up our sleeve to crowbar lots of scenes together on stage. We'd have been daft not to, wouldn't we, yeah. to be honest, because we do work so well mm, together mm. and we are good mates and we just wanted to... We, we, when we originally got the script, we were really concerned because we're going, there's hardly any scenes together here. Mm. We need to make sure. So I, I don't want to give too much away. There's, there's one particular scene that I'm really looking forward to where I am... Well, let's just say I'm getting inside your head, aren't I? Oh. Right. That's all I'll say at that, about that. Now, normally you get the nod first mm -hmm. when we look at, obviously, when they release everything. Mm -hmm. And then when do you know about the other people and when Tom was mentioned, were you like, yes, get in? Do you, do you, is it the first person you phone? Or well, I was actually Tom? doing Aladdin last year in, in ah. Bath. Right. Um, so this is the reworked new, like, Aladdin script for UKP. So I um, did it down in Bath last year. That's the town. Not yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. It, wasn't, formed, it wasn't a small yeah, production. Really huge, like, you know, um, batch. In the bath. <laughs> and I actually bath. requested that I was able to come and perform it in Blackpool this year as long as Steve wasn't in it. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. But That's unfortunately, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But yeah. The, <laughs> his contract's like, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, when did we find out? Yeah, they literally said he doesn't leave his theatre, his, like, dressing <laughs> yeah. room until the following we year. We can't get him out. We can't get him out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> when did we find out? We, we, we it was were very early on, we wasn't were it? pushing for it. For I mean, I'm it was not around about that. January time, wasn't it? Mm. I think I pushed for Tom every single year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even if I get him as a dame, I, I don't. Feel I'm, I'm not that you two are like little boys outside the headmasters. I feel like, please, sir, can we work together again? Yeah. We promise we won't mess about every day. But, but it's, it's nice but it's, to work with someone that you know. But I think it, the chemistry. It, you don't have to build it totally. all. But it must be hard though, because like you say, you know it can't happen every year because mm. it can't. But like you say. Yes, no, no, it it puts in a box. You make a gorgeous Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, a lovely Snow White. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it? Um, but it, like I say, it must be great. What, what guys? What have you been up to away from this? Then, sort of through this last year. Well, obviously, it's, it's been a, an interesting couple of years coming out of the back of you know everything shutting down, and um, this year is a really. I've really noticed things just start to mm. take off mm -hmm. acting wise for me. I've done quite a few like TV dramas, which have been great to kind of get my teeth back into some screen work. And um, I, uh, I've also been doing um, a little bit of my own cabaret show on oh. some cruise ships. So uh, we both worked on the same 
company didn't you know, we pay yeah. cruises oh really yeah, we, yeah but we and did not they not know no, that you we didn't, oh, we what a to nightmare get together oh. on one oh. cruise that would that would be just chaos yeah. really hard, we worked together for the other 11 months yeah. of the year sailing the seas and bothering people overseas no but it's really hard work on these cruise ships it's because hard. actually I have to be <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, I know this is now for the benefit of your wives. So you carry on. I was going to say, we get to the end of the pants. I was like, I've got to go and perform for another week, like in the Caribbean. Oh. I've got to have a show every night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what about all the other times during the day when you're on these white sandy yeah, beaches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've got to relax. Punch. You've got to relax those and act on it. Laborers, sailors, music. Any laborers and hard shot workers out there? You don't know how easy you have it compared to Tom having to do. Is it a full hour that you have to do every night oh, on that cruise? Oh, it's an hour and. 30. Yeah. And now in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. What about you, Steve? Uh, well, the same. I mean, it's just gigging it. That's why I love pantomime, because it's the one time a year where I'm not... It sounds very depressing and sad, this, but <laughs> as a stand-up comic, you just travel the country on your own. Yeah, You're yeah. in your car on your own. You go to a venue, and you may bump into comedians who you know, but you then might not see them for six months, even a year, several years later. Mm-hmm. So to all be united this time of year with... with Ma- old mates and new friends. It's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. Now, I know there's a big enough gap between pantos. This is a new script anyway that you have to learn so that you don't remember them because you've mm. done umpteen Aladdins, umpteen Cinderella's, etc. But tell everyone, because I know this, what part does being in your car play in you learning the <laughs> script? It does a lot because I have it on. I have I record myself doing it, and then on my on those long journeys, those lonely journeys, I'm not entirely alone because I'm <laughs> travelling with Wishy Washy this year. Yourself. <laughs> and myself. And, uh, it's fascinating because I think it's people always are interested in how you learn because you've, you, there's so much and you're mm. in so many scenes and they change and they're all different and you get different direction. It's a lot of lines to learn. Is yeah. there also uh, a weird part when you've had it on your phone on Bluetooth and then you forget and someone gets in your car and you turn the engine on and you go, oh, that's sorry, that's it. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, you're listening to yourself, mate. That happens an awful lot. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like self-help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Steve, yeah. you are so funny. Yeah. Oh, you look great yeah, today. I, I, I slot them into the, into the recordings, just it, words of encouragement. Like Steve, that. don't give up. You're doing great. You are funny. Don't worry. Do you include the laughs? I mean, I can send you some. I can send you some. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I just have pause for laugh. Uh-huh. It's like uh, you know, I have this special app. It's called Line Learner, oh, right? Very good. And it actually has one bit where it's like stage direction. And I press that button. And go, pause for laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then carry on with the rest of the script. Um, why do you think the grand's so popular with with families, Tom? People just love coming to pantomime for like, part of their Christmas tradition, don't they? And this is such a beautiful theatre. Um, it's, a, it's a perfect size. And once this place is packed, mm-hmm. it's bouncing. And we absolutely love it. You know, we get like all the big school groups in mm. early on in December. And then when we hit the holiday season, mm. it is just packed to the gunnels, bang, bang, bang. Um, two shows a day all the way through till we finish in, in January. It's built for variety, isn't it? The theatre's yeah. actually built for that. Mm. So it, they knew back in the day, you know, how to cater for singers, dancers, musicians, comedians. So it, it's the, the audience are upon you. That's, yeah. What, yeah, that's the beauty. So really, Pantomime is one of the last remaining variety shows that you get in these yeah. theatres. Mm. And so I think that's one of the reasons it works so well here. And when you're on that stage, and like you say, the theatre is absolutely packed out, can you feel the energy from the audience because they are so close yeah. like they're, they're not miles away they're, they're it's a bit like they're in your lap sometimes <laughs> they're right there yeah there's nothing quite like live theater and you, you you'll feel was one of the things why we enjoy working together and because um you know you can just mold the show yeah, yeah. What is happening mm. there and then? Mm. So if somebody from the crowd up, as well, yeah. yeah so if somebody right. ends up becoming like, you know, they might shout something out, or they might become the butt of a joke mm. that Steve's made right early on in his opening gambit, and then they almost become a star of the show throughout because you can, can refer back to them yeah. and have a little bit of back and forth, and and so it feels like one show is never the same as the other. It's one of the reasons why I always put the groups list where we shout out the names yeah. of people who are in. It's one of the reasons why I tried to do it in my opening spot. So then, that, you know, if you've got a group from a certain supermarket or your group of teachers or you've got a, you know, a group of the police, I know the, the, the Blackpool police come everywhere, so you can imagine what fun we have, you know. So these little references you can drop in and there's always some reference, you know, somewhere in the pants where you go, oh, that's been perfect for when they're... And they just have to get them to the theatre, don't they? The number of people mm. who ask me, having done the panto, how do I get my 
shout out. I'm like, you just get in touch with yeah. the theatre yeah. and they'll yeah. do yeah. it for yeah. you. Because yeah. you have a super long list. It seems to get longer well, every year. Well, some yeah. I mean, that's yeah. It can be it can be excessive. <laughs> I have to say, and I, I don't just skip over it. No. I, I do enjoy it. Yeah. I have to say. But then again, that's a, another thing about Panto is the th- that bit particular, and then the bit at the end where you get the kids out of the audience. You never know what you're going to get. And no. So it's, that's that's the joy for me as someone who likes to you know perform a little bit off the cuff. I, I love that you get the kids. You never know what they're going to say or what they're going to do, and it, that's that's the joy of it. That's why you know that every single pantomime is going to be different. You're having, mm. you're having difficulty with your hat there, love. Yeah, yeah we were saying this before. We, we have said yeah. my tiny head. head. Yeah, it's a remold. Uh, yeah. some, some things are not. <laughs> your head I feel as though. <laughs> I feel either Steve's head shrunk <laughs> since the last wishy washy, mm. or there was a wishy washy with a particularly large head. I, I, that played I, it undoubtedly. Last year. <laughs> I'm nodding in huge agreement that the hat isn't moving. <laughs> um, guys, listen, it's going to be great. We know that anyway. I think lots of people know with you two on board, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. So enjoy the run. I hope you don't get in trouble, but I'm almost certain you will. <laughs> we will. Like, yeah, we will. Yeah, you, you will know, get. Will. You'll get told off. I know you will. <laughs> and then, do you know what? When I come, I can't wait to hear. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Aladdin opens on Friday the 1st of December and runs through until New Year's Day. Tickets are available now at blackpoolground.co.uk. Thanks for joining us on Eat Theatre Sleep Repeat. Like, share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode.